Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make, I don't even know what you call these things, like a hollowed out letter to do your shaker. Um, so you could do letters, numbers, um, pretty much, well, I guess you could do shapes as well. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is the letter C um, and it's hollowed out so you could have the shaker on the inside, all right? So let's get started. So this is what it looks like in design space. I left it here so that we can recreate it, but we need to go into Inkscape, okay? So let's go into Inkscape. This is what I just did. So what you need to do first is let's say you have, you've got to put in your text, right? So here's the text. I use Feeling Sweet from Defont. Um, and let's put in our text box and do the letter C. So then go to your arrow key. We want to make this big. Make sure it's locked and then make it really big just so that we could see what we're dealing with. Um, hmm. It doesn't look like this letter, so maybe I use a different font. I don't remember what font this is. Um, and I don't know if I can where I can go to to oops, hold on. Let's grab all of these and move it over for a second. Oh my gosh. All right, so here's our C. Whatever letter this is, uh, we're gonna use that in design space, but I'm gonna show you how to do it here first. So basically, we're gonna do a 20, 40, and 60 offset, okay? So you have your letter, you have, you wanna go to your pointer. This currently is selected, so deselect it by clicking anywhere in the white space. So now nothing is selected. Go and hit your paint bucket. Go and hit any color that you want, okay? We're gonna go up here and do 20, so we're making an offset to grow by 20. So you click on the C, there's our first offset. Click the arrow, click in the white, go to your paint bucket, pick a different color, go and hit 40 this time, we're growing it double that, double that. See how it got bigger? Okay, and then we're gonna hit the arrow key, go in the white space, paint bucket, a different color. And this time we're gonna grow by 60. And you're gonna click on that, okay? So, now go to your arrow key, grab it all, and go to path, object to path, and then file, save as. Save as whatever you wanna save it as, just remember what you saved it as. All right, so let's go into design space. So in design space, you're gonna click upload, Upload image, browse, and you gotta find your file, right? So I named mine, I think it was offset C. Yeah, so you click on offset C, open. Here it is, yes, save it. I already saved it, so I'm not gonna save it again. Okay, so then you upload it and it's in here. So let's go to upload, I'm gonna bring it in so you can see what it looks like. All right, so here are our different layers, okay? It's all here, you can see I have my um, here's my original 2040. Ooh. Maybe I did a few more than I, I thought I did. <laughs> um, but let's make it bigger so we could see it. I did not think I did that many layers. All right, so let's ungroup it. This is my backmost layer, okay? So I'm going to arrange, send to the back. That is my dark blue outer layer, okay? My pink one is my top layer. So it's gonna be up to you how many layers you wanna do, okay? And then here are my other layers. So my foam layer, let's see if, I think I did these two as my foam layer. Yeah, so I took my, my two layers and I sliced it because what I need is, I need this to be my foam, so it's gonna sit here on the inside, okay? Then, so it's actually gonna sit here. I'm gonna have my dark blue layer. So this is what I have. On my dark blue layer, I'm gonna change it so you can see it. Then I have my foam that's gonna sit here, okay? Then I had, because this, I ended up doing the acetate paper in the back of this, so, to do your acetate paper, what you need to do is, well first, we need to, give me a second, you need to grab, 
let's grab this layer. I think this is what we want. Yeah. So the inside of the black, you need to pull it over here, okay? Grab these two, align center, and slice because we need to hollow out the blue. Okay, so there's our blue. We need to hollow out the light blue. So I'm gonna change this to my light blue. And I'm gonna grab these two as well and go to align and center and then slice. So here's my top layer. My top layer is my light blue. My dark blue is my back layer. <laughs> then what you want is you want another one of this blue layer, okay? So let's duplicate that. Go over here and contour. We want to hide the contour because we want a solid C. This is going to be our acetate. I'm going to make it gray because in my mind it's more like clear. Okay, so we need two layers of that because top and bottom and in the middle is the foam to put the sequins in, okay? So here's my two layers of acetate, my top and bottom, and here's my foam. Okay, so I can get rid of all of this. So let's just kind of build it so you can see what this actually is, okay? So I, my very bottom layer is actually my acetate. So what I wanna do is I wanna make another copy of my dark blue so that this will cover my acetate, okay? So this is my bottom layer, so you need to, I'm gonna get rid of this so we're not confused anymore. Okay, this is my most bottom layer, okay? My acetate is gonna go on top, so arrange, send to the front, my acetate layer is going to sit on top. Then I have another blue that sits on top. And the reason why I did this is this is a thicker layer. It's going to be easier to put the foam on, okay? Then I'm going to put the foam on top. So once the foam is in, I can pour my sequins in, okay? Then I'm gonna cover the sequins with this acetate layer. Then on top is my final pretty light blue topper. Okay, and then let me align center so you can see. So what you end up seeing is your top layer, which is the blue, the acetate, and then the dark blue and then it's clear in the center. All right, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I'm gonna do another one, um, a, a different example, and I'll record that one as well so that we can see it. Now, let me just say if you had two, um, if you had initials or if you had a number, so pretend the C is a four, okay? So let's duplicate it for a second. What I would do is I would line up the two this is a bad example because they don't, you know, they don't line up that well. But what you want to do is you want to grab the blue layer and the blue layer here, and you're going to weld it so it's solid, okay? And then arrange, send to the back. So everything else remains the same. You're going to have two separate C shakers that you're going to put on top, but your very back layer is going to be connected. And that's because, I'm gonna bring it back to the front, okay? Because you want it to be secure, right? And you're gonna put, um, maybe you put a dowel here and a dowel here to put into your cake topper. So pretend this is a four and a zero. You're gonna have them welded together because that's gonna help you. It, and you don't have to. You can have them on two separate sticks if you wanted to and then put a four and a zero. But if you wanted it to look more like one piece, then you would weld your very back layer. All right, that was a very, very quick tutorial. I'm gonna try it again with a different thing um, and maybe with different colors so that it's a little bit easier to follow. So I apologize, I felt like it was a little rushed. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. All right, I'll see you guys later, bye.